Hey guys, it is Christy K and I am back with another video. It's 2022 and I'm about to be more consistent and do more content for you guys. So today I'm gonna do a twist out using Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Collection. I have been using this collection since I first started my natural journey. Like when I was transitioning, I was using it. I loved it, it smells amazing. Like even my ex, used to steal all my shampoo and conditioner like he loved it too he had curly hair looked really good on his hair like he loved when i did his hair his curls would be popping so i liked it our textures are different and i recently saw a video with somebody used these products and they hated them i felt like maybe i should give them a try because they've been sitting also to know i have on um a headband wig just with a little twist i had a busy week i didn't have time to wash my hair I didn't really feel like doing a ponytail and I needed to do a little some some so that is what I'm taking down right now so let me tell you what the collection um, consists of what I have I don't know exactly what I'm gonna be using today I'm gonna figure it out as I go but there is the moisturizing and detangling sulfate free shampoo the moisturizing and detangling conditioner there is also an almond and avocado leave-in conditioner there's a moisturizing lotion, which I feel like works something like the leave-in. I'm going to have to look it up to figure out what the difference is. I have a control and sign mist, which is clearly going to be for after the hair is done. A curling cream. I have a gel, the honey curl forming custard. And then for my hair mask, because you guys know with this color, I have to deep condition every week. I'm doing the wash day deep moisture mask. I almost forgot about this foam and this is literally like my favorite foam curl enhancing mousse I mean I don't really feel like y'all be needing to see me wash my hair I feel like that's excessive so I'm not gonna wash my hair and condition it on camera I'm gonna wash and condition it off camera put on my deep conditioner and let that sit for a while and then I'm gonna come back and style it I've actually decided on a twist out because I haven't done a twist out in forever and I just want to see how my hair is going to behave in a twist out. And then also, if you guys want to see how I get this little concoction done, let your girl know and I can make a quick little video on that. Comment below if you want to see how I'll be creating all this trickery and nobody knowing that your girl had on a headband wig and it is not my hair. So the conditioner is still on my hair. Um, I believe in mixing conditioners like I'm completely fine with that and um it was supposed to be moisturizing and detangling and it did pretty good because I don't use a comb and I don't really have my hair a problem getting my hands through it and I didn't really like detangle it in the shower like that because I didn't feel like it I'm so bad at that I gotta stop that because my hair has gotten like knotted up because I just washed it and said whatever <laughs> but I'm work in progress this is the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Wash Day Deep Moisture Mask. Leave on for under 15 minutes under a dryer max. That's perfect because I was watching the Insecure Finale and that's about the time I got left. So I'm gonna sit under the dryer and put that on and, and get to it. It's already coated in conditioner so it shouldn't take much. I don't have a comb so I'm combing through with my fingers. You know, like sometimes you just gotta work with what you got. This is what I got right now, and I just don't really feel like getting up to go get nothing. I'm gonna comb it through before I sit. Also, too, I don't got no caps. I keep going to the beauty supply, forgetting my caps, knowing that I deep condition every week. I know this. Maybe it ain't gonna have no heat today because I don't want to get this all underneath my dryer hood. I don't know. Like I said, drama work in progress. Not too bad. I don't went through all my, pretty much all my head. I got one little section left. But like, you know, if it were comb or brush, that's what it would be. But I will be back in about 15 minutes, y'all. I'm come back rinsed out and ready to style this twist out. Okay, guys, so my hair feels amazing. I love the way that it feels. I got a diva cut um, a few months ago and then I straightened my hair recently and I had her like baby trim it because I didn't want her to disturb the flow of my cut. But I like what's happening. 
So y'all, this is me trying to hold myself accountable. Today is the last Monday of the new year. So it should be no more than two weeks from when you see this video, three tops. Hold me accountable, okay? If you guys are paying attention and you see when I upload this, let me know if I'm doing a good job. I gotta hold myself accountable so I can get y'all content. But my hair looks good, like, if I didn't know better, I would just let my hair dry like this, but I just need my hair to last. After I wash my hair, I don't want to touch it. I am doing a uh, twist out and I decided I'm gonna do a three strand twist out and I'm gonna flat twist them in the French off, so pray for me. Also, I've never done the three strand, so I am going to part them. And also y'all, I just watched the season finale of Insecure. Comment below if you watch Insecure and if you watch the finale and what y'all thought. I don't want to spoil it in case you don't watch it but like I just want to know like what did y'all think of that are you sad that it's gone I'm sad that it's gone fun fact is I live across the street from the dunes like I can see the dunes from my window and I would be so annoyed if I lived there because people are always over there taking pictures and then also it's New Year's I think I'm gonna wear this twist out for New Year's so I probably will take it out on Thursday evening. I'm gonna leave my hair twisted up until then. So let me show you what I got going. I don't know if I'm using too many products. I don't know, but I just got stuff sitting here. I don't wanna waste it. Let me see what the difference is between the moisturizing lotion and the leave-in. Maybe I'm gonna try this in between to refresh and I'm gonna use the leave-in. Let's do that, let's do that. Even still, like I parted my hair into five sections, but each section, I'm gonna put it into like two because I don't I don't know what I'm doing. Put that on there. Then I'm gonna do curl cream. The foam I think I used to use for my rod set. But I think I'm still going to add a little bit of foam only for volume. Either this is going to be like a win or I'm doing too much. And then I'm going to take gel because you already know I like my hair to last for like a week or something. And if I got to redo my hair, I don't really be happy about that. So do that. I feel like everything's good. Actually, am I going to flat twist? I might just flat twist all of it, like a little bit, just to get it started and just to, because I am going to put a wig on this week. I watched videos on how to do this. I'm supposed to, let me see, separate into three, right? And then once I do that, let me see, take one, twist it around and the other one, and twist it around and that one, twist it around, and I guess I just keep doing that in my mind I feel like I'm doing a braid but I guess it is that's, that's how it works twist it around I don't know I feel like I fumbled this one I'm just gonna curl the little ends up and let it do what it do but I, it, it twisted if I don't like this which call it just twist out nothing else my hair is gonna smell good nothing else I'll be bringing in a new year in a wig if this twist out ain't given one need to be gave. The way this is, is, it doesn't make sense to twist it out. But I am gonna try to do it as tight as possible because I don't really want roots. I started out, like, well, puffy roots. I started out the same way, just um, regular twist out. But now that I'm separating, I'm gonna do this one, that one, that one. I think when I don't look up at it or think about it, it's cool. When I get to thinking about it, it's weird. All right. Is it twist out? I, I got it. It's my first time and I got it. Okay. Now, I'm just going to continue this. I'm going to come back when I get to the front. I hope this comes out pretty.
some leftover stuff. This stuff, you know, I laid it on thick. I'm just going to kind of try to get rid of some of that to dry a little quicker. I saw a natural 85 and she took some of her twists and she bobby pinned them so that they wouldn't get so puffy. And now I understand why. I think I'm gonna get some bobby pins and I'm gonna try that to kind of secure them in place. Cause like this one right here, I feel like the roots is gonna be crazy. Or you know what? I could just redo it. I mean, what am I doing? I think I started the three too quick on that one. Try it again. Okay, that's better. Last thing is I'm just gonna take some castor oil and oil my scalp because I'm so bad at this. And the only time I do it is when my hair is up. I'm trying to just make it more of like my regular routine, but easier said than done. This twist out is a very long process, so I'm gonna make it into two parts for you guys so it's not too long and boring. Go ahead and make sure you give me a like for part two, and if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. I will be back in a few days when I'm ready to take this out.